Let's talk about uh, 18C here, where uh, one of the uh, one of the kids, uh, the university students that was involved in all of this, um, Alex Wood, started a GoFundMe page, and uh, great people like uh, Andrew Bolton, Miranda Devine, uh, really pushed this cause, put their own money into all of this as well, and now uh, his legal fund looks like it will be paid for. Here is what uh, what Alex Wood has had to say, because Alex is trying to keep himself uh, uh, away from. Too many cameras here, but he says, I'm incredibly grateful for the amount of support that I've received. The situation that I've been caught up in is ridiculous, but the amount of uh, public emotional and financial support has been amazing. Now, Simon, obviously, uh, 18C, this is uh, red meat for you, but the whole problem is not that at the end of the day they turn around and say, it's okay. It's the process that they put you through. This is why rich people take poor people to court. This is why rich people threaten defamation. It's exactly you. one of the reasons why defamation is such a problem. Is they will grind you into the ground yeah. unless you have a total win, and it doesn't matter. And that's, that's, that's screwed up. It is, absolutely. Um, this has been almost a four-year legal trial that these guys have been through. So there were negotiations that went on at the university, first of all, it went through the Human Rights Commission, uh, went through the Federal Circuit Court. Um, the case was dismissed, but even after that, these guys still had to pay a legal bill of around $40,000. Now, I think it's extraordinary that a complaint was made against these kids. If you read their comments, they're the most innocuous comments. It was, at, at worst, Facebook banter. Um, you know, Alex Wood got kicked out of an Indigenous uh, uh, computer lab because uh, he's a white kid, he's a white uh, engineering student, 20 year old and no uh, one was student using at the time. No one, the th there were free computers, there were free computers. Um, uh, he wrote on Facebook, uh, QUT stopping segregation with segregation um, and for that he was taken to court under, under 18C. Now um, I think this shows the absurdity of, of Section 18C, I think it shows that the, the reason for putting 18C in place in the first place was about stopping incitement to racial violence. Um, now, fair enough, you know, th there should be laws against that, and there are laws against that. This is the whole problem with this debate. People have forgotten that there are state laws, there are Commonwealth laws against that sort of conduct. The, the only value add, the only new thing that Section 18C adds to the existing body of law is that it makes it unlawful to offend or insult someone on the basis of race. Now, um, I think we're mature enough as a country to be able to get rid of at least those two or three words, humiliate, you know, there's a bit of contention over that, but. Um, I think the whole provision should be repealed. I think the committee that's looking at it at the moment should recommend the repeal of this. And I think Malcolm Turnbull and the Liberals should get on with this because if we're not able to defend freedom of speech, then what the hell are we there for?